Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. In an interview with Vayu Aerospace and Defense Review, the Chief of Air Staff Vyad Chaudhary has informed about the induction of two major platforms, Tejas Mark II and Amka. As per the update from Chief of Air Staff, the Tejas Mark II will be inducted into Indian Air Force from 2030 onwards and AMCA will be inducted from 2035 onwards. For TS Mark II, at least the funding amounting to Rs 9,000 crore has been approved by government, but the funding approval for AMCA is still awaited. The development cost of AMCA is estimated to be around Rs 15,000 crore, with the first prototype rollout by 2025-26 and production of Mark I slated to begin in the year 2030-31 under the aggressive timelines set by the Aeronautical Development Agency. A more realistic timeline for AMCA induction to kick off, however, would be around 2035. The PSQR, that is Preliminary Design Review of AMCA, is complete and it has entered into CDR, that is Critical Design Review Phase. Once the CDR is complete, which is according to ADA, should be completed by second half of 2022, the full-fledged work can start on the prototype development subject to the funding approval from the government. In summary, Indian Air Force will have to wait minimum 8 years to get indigenous and much capable 4.5th generation fighter which is LCA Mark II and 13 years for 5th generation indigenous fighter AMCA. The delay in the development of indigenous fighter jet platforms only means the victory for the foreign OEMs. While Atmanir Bharata is way ahead for armed forces, but it cannot be at the cost of serious capability gap. China is inducting its latest J-20 fighter jet, which is not exactly a fifth generation fighter, but still a very potent platform. Its second fifth generation fighter jet, FC-31, is set to enter service shortly. The Chinese Air Force had a fleet of more than 50 J-20 jets in 2021. In next one decade, China will greatly enhance the capability of J-20 as they have now a platform for the next generation fighter. On contrary, Indian Air Force has no other option at present and the situation remains the same for next one decade. Now, considering this capability gap, it does make sense to procure the fifth generation fighter jet from a foreign OEM. On 4th October, even Chief of Air Staff has mentioned that Indian Air Force is looking for a 4.5th and 5th generation fighter jet via MRFA program. At present, none of the contenders which are part of MRFA has 5th generation fighter jet in the offering. The only true 5th generation fighter jet is F-35 and F-22. Since F-22 Raptor has not been approved by US government for export, the only 5th generation fighter which Indian Air Force can procure is F-35. This year, the US House of Representatives had also passed a legislative amendment as part of National Defense Authorization Act. Under this act, US government is planning to expand defense cooperation on emerging technologies which also include 4th and 5th generation fighter jet with India. However, F-35 is not yet an official contender for MRFA. At present, the Air Staff Qualitative Requirement that is ASQR, is being finalized for MRFA program prior to seeking government approval. As per CAS, the program would further progress under Make in India initiative with focus on substantial transfer of key technologies to an Indian production partner. This raises another serious doubt if US will agree to it as it has always had reservation in past when it comes to sharing of technologies. While F-35 is the only true fifth generation fighter, it is having a very high operational cost. The per hour flight cost of F-35 varies from 31 to 36,000 US dollar. Rafale per hour operational cost is around 19 to 21,000 US dollar and that of F-18 is 13 to 20,000 US dollars. At present, F-35 are the second most expensive fighter, first one being F-22 Raptor, in terms of operational cost which if inducted is going to burn the pocket of Indian Air Force. 
Another major challenge with F-35 is serviceability, maintenance, and availability. The fighter jet needs frequent servicing of its engines. The problem in the engine is related to a surface coating on the turbine blades that overheats, causing the blades to crack. This is the reason engine need to be serviced before their scheduled maintenance period, resulting in more F-35s being grounded for servicing. In 2019, the U.S. Government Accountability Officer reported that the F-35 program received significant cost, schedule, availability, and performance problems. It was unable to fly 30% of time because of shortage and mismatch of parts. They are mission-capable 52% of time against the target of 75%. The South Korean Air Force has also faced significant difficulties with its two new squadron of F-35, which was reported even by the diplomat. According to the Air Force data obtained by Shin Won Min, a member of South Korean National Assembly's National Defense Committee, inspections have found that F-35s suffered from 234 flaws over 18 months from January 2021 to June 2022. These included 172 non-flying status GNORs and 62 cannot perform a specific mission status FNORs cases. The data recorded 117 flightless and 45 mission specific failures in 2021 and there was little improvement in the first half of 2022 with 55 and 17 failures of these types occurring over 6 months. As a part of MRFA, if F-35 or any new fighter except Rafale is being procured, it will require significant investment in purchase of weapon package, incorporating changes specific to Indian Air Force requirement, setting up of maintenance repair and overhaul facilities, and pilots training. While the indigenous fifth generation fighter jets are still years away, Indian Air Force must look for simpler options to solve the problem of both declining squadron strength and procuring technically superior fighter jet. The squadron numbers can be easily filled with the order of TS Mark 1A and technically superiority with the help of proven fighter like Rafale which would give tough fight to Chinese J-20. The upgrade of Su-30 MKI will also keep the backbone of Air Force strong. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.